All right, so today's going to be kind of a different day. Uh, we're not going fossil hunting today. We're going to do some touristy stuff up in South Dakota. Uh, three of the diehards went out and fossil hunting, but the rest of us need a day off. I mean, my knee, my knee was shot. I walked way too far, climbed way too much yesterday, didn't find much of anything. And, well, I'm no good for another day in the field right now, and I think a few others feel the same way. So uh, we're going to do some touristy stuff. We're going to go up to South Dakota. South Dakota borders within spitting distance to the north, but we got a long ways to go to get the good stuff up in the Black Hills. So we're going to do some touristy stuff today, and I'll show you what we see along the way. Welcome to South Dakota. State Line Casino. Off in the distance, the Black Hills. Barely see them through the haze. Getting closer to the Black Hills. Oh. Big feeder lot over there. Hopefully we're not downwind from it. We are downwind from it. Oh dear. <laughs> and lots of prairie dogs. There's some more bison back there too. And lots of prairie dogs. There's one standing up over there. Yep. Look at all the prairie dogs. chirping away at each other, or at us, not sure which. And there's a coyote over there, that's probably what they're chirping at. And then there's a bison over there. That's a brave coyote. Now he's lost in the grass now. There's a coyote crossing the road. <laughs> Just nonchalant. Normally they're very shy. What's that, a six inch brush? The bird right down his back. <laughs>
were having a problem with the rock, but then we got to reinforce it somehow. There's the Crazy Horse Memorial. We actually stopped in there and checked it out last year. Driving past it again this year on the way to Mount Rushmore and other stuff. It's huge, huge. Regular stop on our South Dakota trips. So the uh, hmm. nothing. So uh, Tasha's scanning. Oh. Uh, this is a um, a uh, Tranodon uh, Tranodon longiceps. Um, it's a model that was made by uh, uh, another friend of ours, Chris Ott, who's also a paleontologist. He and I did a paper on Tatanka Ceratops, which is a, a, a very small but adult, only this tall of hips, um, uh, Ceratopsian dinosaur. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cervical vertebra, kind of smash, but uh, two cervical vertebra actually. So these are from the neck of a Parasaurus. Hmm. And um, it's from the wall quarry. It's a Morrison age, Jurassic age uh, quarry up by Devil's Tower. But we don't have much of a skeleton, but uh, we're doing three skeletons from this quarry for a museum, and one of them will be this with a The femur for this animal is in the museum right now, but you can touch this lay it down. Brachiosaurus, I think you said. Canada's air raid, you guys have probably seen an air raid before. Yeah, in fact, we were just talking about possibly doing some air braiding in a little earlier today. Does it. Are you taking off the matrix? Lynn's always on break. Right now, taking off the old glue. Say again? The old glue. Oh, the old glue, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Big bone. That is a big bone. Hello. That's bigger than the bone Albert found the other day. Wow. Oh, yeah. Probably weighs just as much. This is Albert's 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 Albert's
It's a beautiful piece. There's two wow. starfish on it too. Very cool. You can get in Very. a little bit closer if you want. Just don't Very nice. tackle me. No, 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 no. <laughs> nice. Very you can nice. Come here if you want, Alex. I'll move the box. Yeah. It was a skeleton. It was originally described as uh, it's the holotype for Raptorex, which was described from China, but it didn't come from China. It came from Mongolia. It was described as Lower Cretaceous, which is said, man, this is really an advanced dinosaur. Yeah, it's an advanced dinosaur. There's its little hands. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. So, even though it's um, uh, a cast, we're mounting it like we do the original fossils. So, the original bones, so this part of the tail was made, uh, most of this foot was made. The other foot is, uh, is individual bones I mean, here and there. But the rest is real? The rest was real. It's not, it's, it's not, uh, uh, it's not, this is not real, it's cast, but... We're, we're, we're painting it like the original, and we're mounting it like the original. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, the framework is in the other room here. We can see that, too, if, you, if you're interested. The, so, I, uh, it, because it's a juvenile Tarbosaurus, which Tarbosaurus batar is a very close relative to Tarbosaurus rex, so that's one of the things that, that we study here. And so it's very important to us to make sure that we have a way to get at access to the bones and look at them all around. Um, for instance, you can see, let's see, because it's a juvenile, you can see that the spine has, there's a little suture here that will show up. They're, they're, they're still doing a little bit of painting on uh, getting the bones just exactly finished so that it has to see a little bit of retail. Hmm? Hasn't, fused. hasn't fused yet, it's a juvenile. And uh, also, you know, just uh, real important for our research. So I want to be able to take each bone out, look at it all around, not have plaster, you know, steel going through it. And then also for photography work and all that too. Dinosaur spare parts? Yep. Yep. So happy that cactus looks like they've seen it. Oh yeah. It's perfect dry air up here. Go get video though, they're they're struggling. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the Fossil site yet, that one. This is Matt Cini. Hello. He's so going from downstairs, right? Yeah. yeah. Long time no see. Your brother's downstairs. And molding uh, this disarticulated Stygimola. Stygimola is a relative of Pachycephalosaurus, one of the butthead dinosaurs. And he's been molding. It's got cool pathology. So this is the one small sister to the other. This longest torn here was injured huh. and healed. Um, so it's the, the best Digimolic skull that's been found to date, so it's really quite important. And um, anyway, just cool stuff. You build your molds with like uh, clay and... Uh, yeah, we use the base and then you pour silicone. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, the so conventional mold. I've, I've seen people mold all kinds of stuff that way. It looks, I saw the clay. So I figured you were probably doing it that way. Yep, we need a track, this a track way with, I'm not sure what that is, but bird tracks here. Yeah. That's Cretaceous also from the Lance Creek. This is, this is the brain case, so the endocast of a, a Triceratops. And like, I don't know if you, you must have seen uh, Men in Black, that little guy that was driving yeah. the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the real operator for Triceratops. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the, the pituitary, it's really kind of cool. Huh, it's a big pituitary. Yeah. Oh, this is part of that packy, or the stitching so, Oh, yeah. It even had sclorites preserved. But you can actually see one of them right there. Yeah. So the sclerotic yeah. part of the sclerotic rings, mm -hmm. which is another first. And oh, right there. And then it has stapes, which connect the inner ear to the outer ear. And that's stapes right there, part hmm. of one of the stapes, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that long, skinny uh, pencil lead thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what are, what are these knobs here? Um, this is the, the occipital condyle, the back of the skull of the first vertebra ah, articulates here. Okay. Notice something odd about that? Well, so that marks. So it marks. 
Tooth marks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something chewed on it. A long time ago. Pretty robust. That was our T-Rex marks, obviously. Yeah. Nothing else. So this is the molding. Uh, this is parts of the molds for the uh, Dakota Raptor, which we didn't create. But, uh, oh, yeah, lots of molds. Wow. There's, we've got more stands we've got to put together very soon, too. That's what those guys are working on. Is that another Tony coming? Yeah. <laughs> Business is almost too good. Uh-huh. So how many stands have you got out there? Um, several hundred skulls. I don't know how many, maybe, and somewhere somewhere between 70 and 100 skeletons. Wow. wow. We know the rock has <laughs> wow. one now. Rock has one. He's from Tampa. Right, right. He's just started a tube, so he can... Oh, Lindsay. Looks like Lindsay's going to work for us. Lindsay Powell. I heard that. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Yeah. We've been having a hard time finding somebody to work with. Now we're getting really good people. Can you take a picture? museum part. We've seen the behind the scenes part. Now this is the out front part. Yeah. I just got back, just, just got back from uh, UC New York Drive. Okay. My daughter. Okay. It's fossil nerd heaven in here. Now over here in this case, we're getting into the stuff that we're digging up out in the Badlands in Nebraska here. This is this is the kind of stuff we're finding. Oreodonts and saber-toothed cats. And uh, three-toed horse and tortoises. That's what's out in our area. And uh, Titanotheres. That's a big skull. I am zoomed way out. This thing is monstrous. It's huge. Uh, I know, this is more like what we're hunting out in the Badlands too, Titanotheres. A couple of different species, looks like. Teeth look familiar. The armature. Finally, we found something that makes Mike's head look small. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a picture. 
We got some mammoth out there too, although they're very rare. That's a big kitty. That is a big kitty. Wouldn't want to be around when he was hungry. Well, it sure is pretty up here in the Black Hills, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna head back to Nebraska. We're gonna skip Mount Rushmore this year because uh, the folks that have been with me have been there for like 26 years straight, and uh, we're just gonna skip it. We uh, had a pretty good time at the Institute. We were there for quite a while, got the behind the scenes tour again, and uh, we did some shopping in Hill City and had a long leisurely dinner at the Alpine Inn. We're all very full. And we got a long drive back to Nebraska, so we're just going to head on back through these pretty black hills. Maybe get back around sunset, probably. And this is one of the few times I've been in the black hills when it's not raining, hailing, or snowing. It's very pretty. golden hour when the sun angle's just right. Get out and try and take a close up picture. Yep. Like what, your zoom doesn't work? <laughs> well, you know, we came through here last year. Mike Barnes got out and started walking up to him. Like, <laughs> well, we've got three mics, we can afford to lose one, I guess. <laughs> that was a tough year. <laughs> Mike, Mike D and Barney. We know his brother, so and his brother's name is Mark, so it's just so hard for me to say Mike Barney's well, Look how green it is on one side of the road and how brown it is on the other. It's kind of weird. Well, it's our last full day in Nebraska, and I hope you can hear me over the wind. It is howling. There's a front coming through tomorrow. So, uh, we're only here till tomorrow morning, then we have to check out. And today is uh, pack-up day and clean-up day, and we've got a lot of stuff to do. We've got to cap jackets and pack the trailer 
and pack up all our stuff and get ready to leave in the morning when it's time to check out so we're not actually going to go fossil hunting today. A lot of other stuff has to happen today. So we're going to work on that and uh, try to get it all done before the rain's supposed to start later this afternoon and evening. Oh, it's windy! Storm front coming in. We've been working through it though. Got jackets capped and stuck in the trailer there. Got a bunch of other stuff they got to pack in the U-Haul. Um, getting ready to leave tomorrow morning and uh, head back to Florida. I'm carrying uh, Leslie in my jackets in my truck, which is way over there, so that I uh, don't have to drive over to the far side of Tampa to pick them up once they get back. So it's been a very successful trip, I think. Very good trip. Everybody had a lot of fun. Pretty much everybody found some good stuff. And um, yeah, can't wait to come back again next year. Do it again. So uh, we're just going to hang out here for the rest of the day. Stay out of the weather, which is coming in bad. This wind is the, is the beginning of a front that's coming through. We're probably going to see some rain and probably snow overnight. And uh, we've got a lot of leftovers to eat, and uh, we'll probably play cards well into the night. We generally do. We have a lot of fun. You know, we're a very tight group. We spend a lot of time together, enjoy each other's company, and uh, we'll be back here at it again next year, or maybe even in the autumn. We'll see. So here's the gang playing about the 50th hand of Continental, killing some time here on the last full day. All the chores are done. It's getting cold outside. Weather's coming in. Nothing much to do out here but play cards. And eat. Yep. And eat. Yes. And all the weight we lost. Back. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. So here we are leaving the Oglala National Grassland. Until we come back next time. Not sure when next time will be. It could be as early as this autumn, or it could be next May. We shall see. All right. Well, thanks for watching this series of videos on uh, fossil hunting in the Nebraska Badlands. I hope you found it interesting, a little educational, inspirational, whatever. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see future videos. And check out my second channel, Electro Geek 64. There's lots of good stuff going on there. And I will see you in the next video. And who knows what will be happening. Bye.